Dun, dun, dun. So in this problem, they give us the acceleration. They want us to find the velocity function and then the net change in position, or the distance traveled. In order to find the velocity, the velocity, v of t, that's um, the integral of a of t dt. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Let's integrate that. And then we're going to use this constraint in order to find our c. But that's in a moment here, c. Let's integrate our a of t. We're integrating 2t plus 3dt. Good times. Am I doing this right? Yes. All right. So then we integrate, and our v of t is add 1 divide by it, t squared, plus 3t plus c. So then, we're going to use that constraint, our constraint at the top. What's my t? And what's my v? Minus 4. Minus 4. So we do that. Into our function, we put minus 4 where v goes, and then we put 0. How am I going to get them over there? Ah, where 0 goes. So we goes, and we say minus 4 is equal to 0 plus 0 plus C. So what's C turn out to be? C is minus 4. So then we can make our general function. I'm just going to go ahead and save space, since this is a moving picture. I'm going to get rid of this little yellow line. La, 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 He said moving picture. How old is he? So V of T turns out to be that ain't no C no more. See, that C, we're going to change it to a minus 4. Sure. So that was part A. A, part A. Baby, you got the velocity. That was terrible. So now that we got the velocity, they want to go in, they want to find our net change. Our net change. So we're going to integrate that velocity to get the net <coughs> change in position. So let's take that velocity. I got you, velocity. Oh, you did too much of that. Right. Okay, that's not going to work. Boom. What was our velocity? It was 3t. Oh, t squared. Oh, it was t squared? And they wanted the net change in position from 0 to 3. What are we going to do there? We're going to integrate from 0 to 3, because that's what our net change theorem says. If we integrate its rate, we're going to get the function evaluated the endpoints is the net change, and the change... Yeah. So we do that from 0 to 3 of the velocity, that's the change in position, t squared plus 3t minus 4. So we explore that integral. Boom. Yeah, that's t to the third over 3 plus, back that math up, 3 over 2t squared minus 4t, and then we evaluate from 0 to 3. I can do that lower limit. That's just settle. Uh, we should take it right here. Squeeze it in the spot we got. So now we evaluate upper minus lower. That's 3 to the 3rd over 3 plus 3 
halves 3 squared minus 4 times 3 minus a big fat 0. Due to the length of this example... Yeah, all right. So I put a 0 in there, and it's just 0 for my lower limit. So, ah, ee, ah! What is that? 9 plus... 27 over 2 minus 12? What does that come down to? I got 63 over 6. 63 over 6 going once? Uh, we don't need to be over 6. We don't need to be over 6. 10 and a half going once? Anybody else? Pound that sucker out. I'll do it. 9 plus 27 over 2 minus 12. Call a denominator. That's 18 plus 27 minus 24 over 2. Ah, 18 and 24, they've... Oh, that's a 3. That's 21 over 2. 21 over 2. Why didn't you just say 10 and 1 half? <laughs> Woo.